In the realm of financial regulation, SEC Commissioner Hester Pierce stands out for her reluctance towards heavy-handed interventions. She argues that enduring short-term setbacks can pave the way for a more robust system in the long run. Take, for instance, the SEC current scrutiny of payment for order flow, a contentious practice under examination following the 2021 frenzy surrounding GameStop and AMC. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Daily Stock Update. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell so you never miss any of our uploads and also enter our giveaway. But before that, alert this is not a financial advice video. Pierce raises valid concerns that while imposing new restrictions on payment for order flow might seem appealing, it doesn't guarantee better outcomes for investors. She emphasizes the complexity of predicting whether retail investors will truly benefit from such regulations. The SEC proposed market structure regulation offers options like exposing retail orders to competition from wholesalers on stock exchanges or alternative trading systems. Instead of outright banning payment for order flow, Pierce advocates for exploring alternatives that could enhance transparency and competition in the market. She questions whether eliminating payment for order flow would lead to the return of commissions and whether that would genuinely benefit investors or potentially compromise execution quality. Pierce believes that overly prescriptive rules dictating how retail brokers execute orders could stifle innovation and hinder market efficiency. The debate gains momentum with SEC Chair Gary Gensler's recent remarks on short selling. Despite calls for a ban, the SEC isn't currently considering such drastic measures. However, the suggestion to also restrict banks from short selling adds another layer of complexity to the ongoing discourse on market regulation. The prevailing sentiment among investors is dissatisfaction with the status quo. Many advocate for changes that prioritize transparency and fair market practices. The concern isn't solely about prices, but also about knowing where trades are executed and who benefits from them. Transparency emerges as a central theme in these discussions. Investors express a willingness to incur minor fees if it means trades are executed on transparent and regulated platforms like NASDAQ or the NYSE. There's a growing preference for minimizing trading in dark pools and maximizing visibility in traditional exchanges. Ultimately, the evolving landscape of market regulation reflects a quest for balance. It's about finding solutions that promote fairness, transparency, and investor confidence without stifling innovation or impeding market efficiency. As debates continue and proposals are considered, the focus remains on fostering a financial ecosystem that serves the interests of all stakeholders. Friends, that's all we have for you today. What is your opinion about today's video? Get involved and let us know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.